Hey. Okay. Why? Okay. My name is Chase. I'm a junior from Westside. December 20th, 1999. I was born seven pounds, 11 ounces, and given a pink pair of baby socks to match my XX chromosomes as if gender is just that simple. And as a child, it always made perfect sense to me that boy babies get blue socks while girl babies get pink socks and that those colors could dictate someone's entire life. What clothes they'll wear, what toys they'll play with, what gender they'll fall in and out of love with, again and again and again and again and again, but a piece of fabric cannot tell a story. I was nine years old when I first heard the word transgender. I was watching TV in my parents' room when an ad came across the screen about a girl living in a boy's body. When I asked my grandmother later that night what the word meant, she answered boldly as if it was nothing to be ashamed of. It's when a boy feels more like a girl or a girl feels more like a boy, I nodded shyly. Thinking about it the entire way home, but when I got to the house in the refuge of my room, I burst into tears. Thinking that now that I had a word to define myself, I could fix it. Fix. At nine years old, I thought I needed to be fixed. When puberty came around, I'd layer my shirts to hide my chest. I cut off all my hair in fifth grade and tried to fit in with the boys, but I couldn't understand why I wasn't like them. When I turned 13, I stopped trying to be comfortable. I stopped trying to hide my chest and my hips. I wore makeup and dresses and female pronouns like a proud woman should, but I was not a proud woman. When I turned 15, I told myself I did not need to fix myself. I did not need to hide my hips or my body, or my identity. I was not ashamed of who I was, and I did not need to fix myself. I did not need to fix my lack of jawline or my high voice. When your faucet is leaking, you don't buy a new house, you call a plumber. When I was born, I was given a pink pair of socks to match the sex that my body assigned me. But throughout my life, growing and learning, I decided somewhere along the way that pink just wasn't for me, that I like green. I like purple, I like orange, red, white, maroon, plaid, tie-dye, rainbow, that a color cannot define me, that a piece of fabric will not and cannot ever be able to tell my story, and that you don't, I learned you don't need to wear blue to be a man besides. No one ever sees the color of your socks anyway. Woo!